Okay, let's have a look at the ring nebula. There it is, uh, quite faint. I'm just going to get a little more light on the camera. Uh, we'll look at the ring nebula. This is about the view you would get in a 6 to 8 inch telescope at about 200 power, though you won't see color in your telescope like on this camera. There it is. So this is just a, a splendid object for beginning astronomers and for experienced stargazers too. It's, uh, it's bright at about ninth magnitude and it shows enough detail to make it quite interesting even, a th even in a 3 or 4 inch telescope. So we're looking at the gases being blown off by a dying star. That's what a planetary nebula is. And um, these gases often shoot out in an hourglass shape and we are looking at the hourglass from end on which is why it looks roughly circular and you can see a lighter outer ring here and a somewhat darker inner ring. The inner ring is still a bit lighter than the, the background sky. And uh, even with this quite sensitive camera, we can't quite see the central star that is throwing off this layer, but it's in the process of, of turning into a white dwarf. It's just going to be an exposed stellar core at, uh, with a temperature of maybe 80 or 90,000 degrees or more that just is going to glow for the next many billions of years after it sheds these layers. So it's been throwing off these uh, its outer layers of gas in the form of this nebula for about uh, 20,000 years. And the nebula, nebula right now is about 0.4 light years across and the whole system is about uh, 2,000 light years away. And uh, you can find the ring nebula quite easily. It's right between the stars Gamma and Beta Lyrae in the constellation Lyra. Uh, about three uh, three fifths away from uh, gamma to beta on a line between the two, so it's not not hard to find and uh, quite a beautiful object to see in a small telescope. Okay, let's take a look at the second Messier object in Lyra, and that is M56. Here it is, just a faint view of it here. Uh, now bear with me, I'm going to get just a little more light on the camera. M56 is a globular cluster. It's about halfway between Gamma Lyrae and Beta Cygni, or Albireo. It's a fairly uh, faint cluster. Messier mistook it for a comet, and many people do nowadays too. There it is, quite a bit brighter. Uh, so it's resolved here. It's hard, a hard cluster to resolve in a telescope really less than 6 to 8 inches. Uh, but it's nicely split in the camera here. Let me just uh, tweak up the contrast to see if we can pull out the background stars. It's a faint cluster, but it lies in a very uh, very rich background of stars. So again, it's a very pleasing object uh, to have a look at. Most people pass this by for M57, the Ring Nebula, which is much closer, but this is not much farther away, and it's well worth a look on a, on a late northern spring uh, evening or, uh, or a summer evening.